the line drive out there to uh, left field. And it brought in Nelson for... I'd say the 13th run of the game for the Seahawks. Simpson has really had a great day. <laughs> And Susie ends the inning with a grounded or pat off at short. We'll wrap this inning up in a second. Seahawks score five runs in the top of the seventh on three hits. There were no errors. Uh, one left on base. So after seven, uh, six and a half innings of play, Salva Regina leads 13 to 2. We'll bring you the bottom of the seventh inning after this break. seventh inning with the Highlanders of Houghton College perhaps in their last at bat unless they have a huge inning against Nicole Parry but Nicole Parry has done outstanding she uh, fielded the first at bat of the frame and got the first out throwing it over to Lauren Fountain so one out here in the bottom of the seventh what I like about Perry again is struggled a little bit at that last inning, but quickly regained her composure, came out, and came out just like she started the first inning. Strong, focused, and uh, it's nice to see that. Yeah, she's throwing strikes, uh, and that's that's how you get people out. Uh, you're not going to get them out by, by missing that the plate. Uh, she's been effectively working the outside part of the plate, outside and inside, and in getting people caught looking. One ball, two strikes on the... Uh... Actually, we have a pinch hitter here for the Highlanders. Number seven. I don't recognize the name. Ashley Pop is a junior from Clarence Center, New York. Pinch hitting for Schwingle. If I was Perry, I would go for that low outside pitch that he's been calling all day. Oh, and she does. She gets and she swinging. gets it. Sign me up. I'll coach right now. You're a scout. You know, watch out. Watch out, Coach DiPolito. I'm coming for you. Are you talking to Genevieve Benoit as, as catcher-wise, too? You're saying, hey, this is the pitch I would call? Oh, man. Because I didn't see Genevieve turn around and look at us. So is there some communication, some way you're able to communicate that to her? Can't divulge that information. So two outs for the Highlanders here and their last at bat. 13-2 Seahawk lead. And that pitch really has been working for Perry. So I wouldn't be surprised if you see it again at this batter. 
There it is. Yeah, she's working them away, and she gets the call. And if he's going to call it, she's going to throw it. The pitcher, Ashley Shank, is batting with two outs for the Highlanders. Gets enough piece of the ball. I'm getting some feedback Forward. through Twitter that uh, we're hilarious talking. <laughs> I don't know if it's a good or bad thing. But Are we hilarious is... talking or hilarious sounding? Yes, please clarify. <laughs> well, as long as they enjoy the broadcast and we can bring them some information. That's it. That ball's put in play to parry. She finishes the game with a toss out to Fountain at first. So the final score is 13-2, Salve Regina. The players will exchange handshakes in front of our camera, and we'll take a break audio-wise. We'll give you that video, but we'll take a break audio-wise and then come back to wrap up this game.
Welcome back to Mineola Park in Claremont, Florida, where the Seahawks just finished off the Highlanders of Houghton College, 13 to two. Winning pitcher for Salve Regina was Nicole Perry, sophomore, getting the start, starting nod in game one of the 2014 season for Salve Regina. Uh, Perry's record is is one and zero, not 13 to two, as it shows there on the on the graphic. Um, but she was outstanding at the uh, uh, in the pitcher circle, Kelly Scaparello. Yeah, I mean, I, I got to tell you, the composure she had, the uh, take it to the batter. <laughs> the, I mean, she was just really consistent and laser focused throughout the entire game. And there was one inning where I think it was the sixth inning where she faltered a little bit, had a lot of batters, you know, take some swings, full counts. But she came back in that final inning, laser focused, composed, and uh, I think it's a very bright future for Nicole Perry. Yeah, it, the the present was excellent. Uh, she, she worked the plate very effectively. Uh, the Highlander batters got the bat on the ball in that sixth inning, uh, but uh, other than that, she had them missing in the six other frames uh, that she threw. And you got to give credit to, to Genevieve Benoit as well as the catcher who's fr who framed the pitching. You know, I mean, she called that game and she called a great game. You know, and I think you really start to see that there is a good chemistry there. And if you have a good chemistry at pitcher and catcher, you're going to succeed out there. And you're seeing that in the first game. Yep. We'll get to see uh, their classmate, Dominique Burnham, in game two. But uh, let's uh, finish off game one today. Salve Regina versus Houghton. It was uh, Seahawks 13, Highlanders 2. At the plate for the Seahawks, uh, plenty of offense. They scored two runs in the third inning, two runs in the fifth, uh, four in the sixth, and five in the seventh uh, to really put this game away. Uh, three of the Seahawks had three hits apiece. That was Jenna Adine and Genevieve Benoit with three hits.